Hello my friends in last episode you have seen how i visited the hot water spring and the gurdwara and temple at manikaran in case you have missed the episode of travel to manikaran please see the previous episode to get all the detail information and to maintain the continuity in watching the himachal pradesh series 12 km from manikaran is the varsheni village and another 4 km through a broken road will bring you to the tosh taxi stand from here you need to walk till your homestay village tosh is roughly divided into two parts the lower part and the upper part if you are staying at the upper part of the village walking through the steep narrow and kacha lanes inside the village might be a hard work for you especially if you require to carry your own luggage however the view from the upper part can be mesmerizing Good morning everyone. Right now I am standing at the Tosh village deep inside the Parvati valley. What happened that uh, after visiting Manikaran we took a car and the car took us to uh, Tosh. So when we came here since yesterday only there is a western disturbance and as per the uh, current weather report this will persist for 2 to 3 days. uh so fortunately or unfortunately we are stuck at this damp weather uh so um, the day before we came here till then weather was very bright and sunny uh, but uh, right now as you can see all around the weather is very much foggy it rained since yesterday noon throughout the night and today morning also tosh if i remember even 10 to 15 years back also tosh was known as the starting point for the famous pin parvati trek pin parvati usually is uh, started from the this lush green parvati valley side and people used to start the trek from here from the tosh village and then they used to trek and after crossing the pin parvati pass people used to descend at the pin valley side so uh, there are multiple small villages nearby for example pulga village then tulga and then kutla kutla is probably 2 to 3 kilometers away and in kutla also there are few small homestays okay so for now let's enjoy some uh, good breakfast club sandwich uh, salad you will uh, in all of these uh, homestays or hotels here you will get israeli food as well as indian food of course so for now let's have some good sandwich and uh, let's enjoy the day see you can see the snow there and there it is right now covered with cloud so you can still see that even there also Lots of snow accumulated since yesterday. All are fresh white snow. This is a typical Himachali village house structure. The roof is made up of heavy slate stones arranged in sloped manner. The walls are wooden. There is usually a cattle shelter or pen at the ground floor level. Finally after 2 days of continuous rain the weather looks clear yay it's sunset time and the superb color all around is making all of us ecstatic Look at the color it's pure molten gold
Very good morning. This is our third day at Tosh. Since we were completely stuck at our homestay for last couple of days and the weather now finally cleared up yesterday evening, we decided to stay one more extra day here instead of moving to Manali. See the bright blue sky and fresh snow glowing at the top of the surrounding hills. Today we will try to hike to Kutla village and roam within Tosh as well. So many colors of Rajma. Wow. आप लोग क्या बोलते हैं इसको हम भी बोलते राजमा ये राजमा बोलते हैं हम इसको खाया तो होगा आपने कभी खाया नहीं हाँ हम लोग तो अलग तरह छोटा छोटा होता है छोटा छोटा कोई होता है मारा भी छोटा छोटा इधर ही होता है ये हाँ इधर Today is a bright sunny day and uh, we'll have some nice breakfast now and then uh, maybe we'll go to Kutla village. Kutla is around one and a half to two hours walking one side from Tosh and uh, after that we would come back here and then we can uh, hike again a little bit toward the Khirganga. There are uh, small villages nearby like Pulga, Tulga and Kalga. Uh, so we can take any one of those routes and can walk and uh, let's see till evening uh, where all we can we can roam thank you let's move Village Tosh hosts a lot of Israeli tourists and Indians as well. Hence, all these cafes serve Israeli and different types of continental food, along with the usual Indian breakfast. We are now trekking to Kutla village. Had a good hearty breakfast and uh, let's walk to Kutla. I can hear the sound of the Tosh waterfall. It is down there but it might get covered by the foliage all around. So a dam is being prepared there. Uh, that's where Water is flowing very fast.
are sort of halfway from uh, Tosh to Kutlak. This is the Tosh waterfall. Uh, earlier we saw a um, hydropower uh, plant uh, station where there was a huge water, water flow was coming down. So I thought maybe that was the waterfall. But I think I was wrong. Probably this is the uh, Tosh waterfall. Well, water is uh, pretty cold. Yeah, nice spot. If you are not game for the Khir Ganga trek or any other trek from here, uh, you can always come to this place, spend some time here, uh, do some picnic and then you can again return back to either to Kutla or to Tosh. Just please remember one thing, please, please do not litter the place. Just a while back on the road I saw there was a boat mentioning that uh, don't uh, litter this place but then I saw lots of plastic bottles and uh, chips, wafers and all, all were lying there that really feels bad. All of us have that responsibility to protect the uh, mountain atmosphere of the environment. So please do that. After walking for a several kilometers after that uh, Tosh waterfall, uh, it's possible that we might have lost our way within the jungle. Uh, we saw roads were bifurcating and uh, I decided uh, to go towards the right side, uh, though there was another road going towards the left. So we took that right side uh, and then we were hiking all the way. Uh, the narrow path did not look like a regularly trodden by people much. So there grew my uh, drought. However, we continued our walk. Uh, we are pretty high, almost at the end of uh, this particular hill. Uh, I went up ahead uh, there also, but then again there is another waterfall. Um, I think I have lost the way. So it's anyway, it's already 3 p.m. The sun is slowly going down toward that side of the hill. So I don't think it will not be prudent uh, to uh, walk ahead anymore. So we'll sit here, relax for some time. Anyway, we have enjoyed uh, the walking uh, through the, through under the sun and through the shadows of these large uh, trees. So we'll sit here enjoy a uh, few bites of chocolate and then again we will uh, take the journey back uh, to our guest house in Tosh. Okay. Wonderful day, great climate, and a nice short hike. So let's get back to Tosh and then maybe we can unwind. We spent a nice evening at Tosh with good food and rhythmic music at the cafe.
Tomorrow morning, we will take a bus or cab from Tosh and go to Kulu Dashera ground to attend the Dashera festival. And from there, we will move to Manali, where the plan is to spend the next four days. See you all soon in the next episode. Till then, take care and bye bye.